Still you too. I know it's been a minute, but your boy back. Trying something a little different this time. Aaron, what? Hold on, we know we gotta do that intro. I hear that, I hear that exhaust. But anyway, it's your boy, Fine. I'm back again with another video. Yes, we about to get directly into this thing. So pretty much you can see by the title of the video, we just pretty much gonna be going over a brief synopsis of what's all on the whip. There. Just pretty much vlogging what I'm gonna do, what I'm doing today. Hey y'all, our first stop was to see. I had to go to the grocery store real quick. Do a little grocery shopping for the week, you know. I got a quick question. So, you just got the little bomb blows here back there in the back. Y'all think I should do it up here? I'm thinking about it. Right now I got a uh, Living Art Motorsports, but I kind of want to switch it up. That way people can tell from both sides. And if you guys see me, say what up. Don't don't be afraid of nothing. Say what up to your boy. <laughs> it make my day if I see one of you guys. Oh, look at that color. Oh, okay. Chevy. I'm about to go look at that. I'm about to go review that for y'all. Trying something different. Let me know what you guys think about this, though. Me just vlogging. Vlogging, and we then we gonna get to the point of what the video is actually about. So far, I really like this. I, re I really enjoy this. I got one more stop. Going to go get some food. For me and a woman, you know, after I work out and stuff. It's a little dark. All right, y'all. And I keep stressing this every single day, every single vlog. If y'all got an idea and something that y'all enjoy doing and y'all want to monetize it, y'all already on a perfect site. All y'all got to do is research about your goal or your dream that you want to do. Or some of us, some of y'all already know what y'all got to do. Y'all just haven't took the initiative. Y'all just gotta dig out that inner goat in y'all, that inner goat, and go out and try to achieve your dream job or your dream goal. At least you can say you took a shot at it. At least you can say. Don't let these time and years, cause time you can't get back. Money and all that you can get back over and over and over again. But time, I don't come back, so. It ain't never too late to try to achieve your goal. The people that don't have that person in their life to make them more ambitious or on their head or on their back or uh, getting up, out and doing something pretty much. I wanna be that person. So, if y'all like what we doing on this channel, and you like the motivation and the aspiration and ambition of me, Hit that, that subscribe button and stay tuned to all the videos because you know we grinding, we grinding, I'll tell you that. And I'm not stopping until I hit the top. It's going to be a long, slow grind, but I guarantee you we're going to get there, y'all. Just stay there with your boy. We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna start doing giveaways and all that. Just support your boy, trust me. All right, y'all. I'll catch y'all when I get there and then I'm gonna go over a little brief synopsis of what's all on the car and everything. All right, you guys. Now, yes, we'll be doing the full breakdown and mod summary of what's on my custom 2015 EcoBoost Mustang. Now, let's get right into it. The very first off, we have the Cervini's C Series chin spoiler. That's a little aggressive look to it. And then coming up above it, we have the OP7 turn signals, which these are sequential. I'll cut the blinker on. They go all that. Let me see if I can do it while the car is on. Let's see if I can do it, do it for y'all. Probably not because the car on. No, it won't let me. But yeah, these are sequential. Or if y'all watching this, y'all got a Mustang or whatever. 
<laughs> or just go watch my uh, Op 7 Mustang video. And come along to the wheel setup we have CDC Outlaw 20 inch rims by 20 offset square setup all around with their gunmetal smoke gray. The car is dirty, so their gunmetal smoke gray with red accents, but at night they light up when light hit them. And also, coming to my brake setup, we have the Power Stop Street Warrior. I believe it's the Z26s. The Street Warrior kit. So far, I love it. Improved over stock. And then, coming to the side to complete the symmetry of the chin spoiler, we have the RTR side skirt extensions. This looks really great. That way when you come in with the little the chin spoiler, it wouldn't be like out a little bit and then come back in. I don't know. I'm, I got a little, old, little OCD, but <laughs> I like the way it can like, continue to look. And also, for the rims, the rims are wrapped in Cosmo tires. I am running 275. Zoom in so you can see 275 35 ZR20s. I know these not super expensive tires, but I just want to get the wheels on here so I can complete the look. I was tired of riding around with the stock wheels. And back here we have the uh the RTR rear skirt extensions also. And I'm debating on what you guys think. Let me know, comment below. If I should get the smoke lens with the, the LED in there, that's like grayish or whatever, or should I just tint it and just say forget about it? I'm just thinking about tinting it. And for the tail lights, we have uh, tail light covers from American Muscle. I think they're from Speedform, I believe. They look really great. You can see the lights at night with no problem. So you won't have to worry about getting a ticket or anything. Perfect. And for the trunk, we have the GT 350 track spoiler, which looks really great. Gives a way more aggressive look. I'm really considering upgrading to the Performance Pack GT wing that comes up a little higher and then got like a little thing to see. Let me know what you guys think. Should I upgrade or just leave this? It don't look bad, but I love the performance pack one wing way better. And then coming up here, of course we got to have the VOM vlogs on here. Like I said earlier in the video, I'm thinking about doing this to the front also. What you guys think? I think I might do it though. So, and also I got the roof spoiler. It's a cheap little eBay roof spoiler, but I love how much of a subtle accent detail it is that you don't really notice it, but if you own a Mustang or anything you would notice it and has a great little look from the rear instead of being all normal I want to stand out a little bit and coming down to the rear diffuser we have the RTR rear diffuser and the side skirts you can see how it all comes together in the rear that's why I want to go with this one and for the exhaust we do have a Celatec axle back exhaust. Give you guys a quick little sound clip. Yeah, that was a quick little sound clip. <laughs> I don't want to do too much for somebody to say something, but, it, <laughs> but yeah, that's the exhaust. I need to do a video while driving. I know I was gonna, I know I told you guys I'm gonna do a video while driving so you guys can hear it. I love it. On the freeway, it's not too much or anything. And that's pretty much it. But we can go, let's go on the inside. I'll show y'all what I did in the inside. I ain't do really too much in the inside, but did a little stuff, so I'll show you guys a quick little glimpse. Ugh. 
but as you guys know, I have the premium pack Mustang, so there wasn't too really too much to do in the inside. So really, all I did, I have a 2015 EcoBoost premium package Mustang, and as you, everybody knows, these premium pack with the 15 came with the Sync 2, and I hated it completely. So if you're looking or in the market for a Mustang, if you get a 2015 Mustang. You can swap out the Sync 2 head unit to a Sync 3 plug and play. All you need to do is buy the screen and the APIM. And it all Sync 3 also gives you Apple CarPlay. So I'm gonna show you guys the screen now. Get all talking and stuff. <laughs> all right, here we go. Yeah, so this is the Sync 3 screen. It looks 10 times better. Yeah, this originally was a Sync 2 screen. Swapped it out, 10 times better, way better. Or recommend it to anybody that has a Sync 2 head unit in their car. Okay, I showed you guys all the cosmetic mods. Now I'm going to show you performance mods what I have done to the car. Excuse the wind, you guys. It's a little windy out here. But as you can see in there, peeking, I have the CPE intercooler, the street intercooler. I think which is supports like 400 horsepower, I believe. And coming along to the engine, you know, we gotta, we gotta get up in there. I gotta, oh, yeah, pop that thing. But coming to the engine, you guys, I have a coder intake. This is the four performance coder intake. I thought about getting a uh, air ray intake too, but I'm not sure if it'll connect to that. If you guys know if it'll connect to the uh, perform four performance intake. Let me know, please, because I would really appreciate it, and I will get one if it does. And don't know if y'all can see it or not, but if you look down in there, focus, please. It's a little dirty, but that is a Steeda Pro Flow blow off valve. But that's all. I really did performance wise. I didn't really want to go too much. I still wanted to be reliable and fun to drive. I believe, don't quote me on it, I still haven't got dyno numbers. Don't quote me on it or anything, I still haven't got any dyno numbers, but I believe, I want to say I'm making 300 wheel, but I'm not exactly sure. But I got all the supporting mods and I'm still on pump gas. I'm not going to go E85, E30, none of that. I just want it to be a fun little daily driver. Well, for now, because that's all going to change. Now, I can give y'all too much. Well, there is another car coming to the channel. There is another car coming to the channel. But if you stay watching the channel, you guys probably know what that car is. But anyway, y'all, that wraps it up for this video. See you guys in the next one. Your boy, Vine, Vlog, Teep, Teep, Yes. Yeah. Put another bag. All right, stay tuned for the next one.